Hafadeh and Amanda Dedicatory from the Pacific News Center, and we're here at the League One Terrace Park, a place where people used to play tennis and play at the playground, but for some has become an illegal dumping site. For months, Anthony Mindiola, a concerned Derido resident, has been visiting the three parks in Liguan, armed with a box of trash bags and a rake to pick up the bottles, beer cans and food containers thrown around the property from the night before. Since the start of the school year, Mindiola has been focusing most of his efforts on Liguan Terrace Park 2, which has seen significant dumping in the form of discarded mattresses, white goods and broken furniture. It's just disappointing to come out here every other day and stuff, or every day to see trash that still piles up. I mean, even after hard work and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm just trying to reach out to everybody about this trash that's just polluting the Edo area itself. Mendiola says that some of the people contributing to the issue are those who drink alcohol or hang out at the park during nighttime, which are hours when monitoring the park is difficult. Nick Lee, the public information officer of the Guam Environmental Protection Agency, says that illegal dumping is a widespread and long-standing issue and is prevalent throughout the northern areas of the island. He adds that illegally dumped waste could promote the breeding of mosquitoes, become host to rodents, or pose a potential fire hazard. Everybody on island needs to be responsible for managing their solid waste properly. There's no good excuse for you to go and into a, a jungle or into a river or a stream and dump your waste. So there's just no good, no good reason for it. According to a statement from Richard Ibanez, the director of the Department of Parks and Recreation, the agency has been in frequent contact with Mingiola and has assisted him with giving him supplies and assessing the park's condition. Ibanez says that he is appreciative of Mindiola's efforts and will be working with the police department to deter people from dumping and drinking at the park facilities. In turn, Mindiola encourages the public to help him address the dumping in Liguan to make these parks safe for not just the children in the area, but the community as a whole. Hey, this is our island. You come here, we stay here, you know, in this island and stuff. We need to take care of this island because it's just getting too much and stuff with all these trash all around. Amanda Dedicatoria, PNC News.